Hi, this is just too good not to share with my YouTube audience. I already shared this on Twitter, but I just had to get on the YouTubes um, to share this. It's like, look at this, the flake multimeter watch. It's like, shut up and take my money. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Flake 578 True RMS Multimeter Watch. Obviously, it's a uh, take on a well-known uh, brand who shall remain nameless. Um, <laughs> but look at this. I just, I, I have to shout out Alexander Schmidt, who's a 3D graphics artist. I'll link in his stuff uh, down below. Here's like examples of his uh, work and stuff like that. And this is absolutely amazing. Obviously, he's, uh, I presume, an electronics uh, guy of some description because he knows about, um, okay, flukes. And he knows about multimeters and he's like a watch fanboy like I am, obviously. And he's created the Flake 578 True RMS Multimeter Watch. And this is just, look at it. Look at it! <laughs> Shut up and take my money! I want one! I don't care that it's fake. I don't care that it's impractical. I just, like, seriously, I would actually, if Fluke made a watch that looked like this, a Fluke branded watch that looked like this, I'd buy it. I, I like, I seriously would. <laughs> um, am I the only one? Leave it in the comments down below. But I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm a watch aficionado, um, as well as, you know, a bowling meter and a fluke fanboy as well. So this is just absolutely fantastic. And it's not just this, he's actually created an animation as well. Let's have a watch. Here we go. <laughs> a watch. Get it? Come here all week. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. Stainless steel back. Look at this. Oh, the probes just plug in. Uh, voltage detection. We'll talk about that. And you change the mode dial. Look at this. Amps. It's got current measurement. <laughs> Supposedly 10 amp current measure. Oh, look. These animations are just absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Here we go. Here's some other photos. Look at this. I love the screws on there, like uh, on the pins here. Um, that's just that is absolutely brilliant. I, I love the like the uh, the fact that it's got like a mode um, dial on there. You can change between watch and then AC and DC volts and AC and DC amps and then ohms uh, diode and continuity. And I love that you know it's then it's got uh, the triple display on here. It's got the time and then as you saw in that video, it's got like a uh, backlight um, kind of thing when the voltage detection thing kicks in. There it is, yeah, uh, volt, uh, ohms, resistance, diode, continuity, where was it? And, uh, yeah, there it is. So it, you know, it's got like a, a red uh, backlight on there, which uh, the voltage detection. And, it, okay, so it switches to volts here. So the voltage display is here. It's only three digits, is it? Um, and, but it's got time. like there, and, and it keeps the time down here when you switch into uh, multimeter mode. And, oh, it's just, come on. How can you not? love this. These are absolutely brilliant renders. Uh, like, I, I just love the look and feel of the, like, the industrial design of this thing. Of course, uh, fully shrouded banana plugs in here. They'd have to be two millimeter jobbies. None of that uh, four millimeter rubbish. Uh, so, yeah, I, like, <laughs> stainless steel back, distributed by Flake and SG brand. It's powered by one CR2032 and one SR626. Um, <laughs> silver oxide battery, 10 bar water resistant. Nice, that's like like 100 meters if you don't know. Um, water resistant, not waterproof, because to get proper waterproofing, you've got to have the O-ring in there. It's got to be greased up and it's got to be properly engineered and stuff like that. And uh, you use uh, Phillips um, screws everywhere. And look, 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 it's just, ah, oh, thing of beauty. It's a joy forever. Unbelievable, unbelievably sexy. This is just pornographic. It, it really is. I would so buy it. I don't care that this is fake. I don't care that's impractical. This, if you put this video and these photos up on Kickstarter or Indiegogo, this is a million dollar Kickstarter, right? <laughs> People are just, I don't care that it's impractical. People would just buy it because it's absolutely cool. 
Um, am I the only one who thinks this is fantastic? Got a lot, lot of traction on uh, Twitter. So a, a lot of people agree that this, a lot, lot of people didn't get it. They didn't get that this is, you know, they go, it's got a stainless steel back, and, you know, it's not blah, blah. It's in, yeah, it's completely impractical. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's just great. I want one. Anyway, he's done another one. Uh, this was actually done back in 20... 15. So this is like six years ago. The flake, uh, th th this one's the 578. Uh, is it? Yes, the 578. And this one's the 378. So here we go. Let's have a watch of this. <laughs> Let's have another watch of this one. Um, it's different. Have a look. It's got the brushed stainless steel. Look at that. Fantastic. The Flake 378 True RMS Multimeter Watch. Look, it opens up and then you plug the probes in the top. And it's got your traditional <laughs> it's, it's got your traditional mode dial. <laughs> it's just great. It's great. It's got the months in there. And uh, yeah, and it's got your you know traditional like uh, like LCD display at the top bar graph. It's got bar graph and then your multimeter buttons, your hold, your range button, min max. Um, yeah, levity, like that's not. I got to admit, that's not as se that is not as sexy as the uh, five seven eight. But come on, come on, like <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, it's got the different like the mode dials and everything, and uh, it's got a separate amps jack, of course. Um, <laughs> because you got to you know just the design of the thing you want to, uh, you know, you don't want to have to like do electronic switching for your current and stuff like that, and like your traditional mode dial like that. So you push your button down here and it changes, changes your multimeter mode. Oh come on! But yeah, no, I'd, I'd I'd buy that one too. But yeah, I think I think this one just ah, uh, it's brilliant. It looks rugged, industrial. It looks fluke like, um, absolutely brilliant. And a, a lot of uh, some people on Twitter said, "Oh, Fluke should sue him." And it's like, oh, this is fan art. Um, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Fluke should not sue him. They should hire him. I'm serious. Fluke should hire Alexander Schmidt to do like like in-house graphic uh, design and stuff like that. Because um, this is absolutely. Gorgeous. I just love this. I love the industrial design of it. I would totally buy it. Anyway, let's talk about the practicality of a watch like this. Obviously, it's completely impractical. And obviously, like, even if you could, like, make this with the probes and everything that plugged in, and no doubt you could probably, like, you know, there's <laughs> devils in the detail. Look, I mean, like, like it's, it's got a screw right here, like where you actually plug the shrouded jack in. It's like, you know, like <laughs> it just looks fantastic. It's, you know, but from a practical uh, point of view, that's probably not possible. You'd, you know, have to make it thicker. You'd have a flatter, like it's, it's obviously like it concaves in like that, you know, to have the hands and everything else. And it's just like, you wouldn't have it that slim. Can we have a look at the side? Like, yeah, like you're not going to get it that slim and look how much it has to drop inside like that. And the shrouded banana plugs and stuff like that. Like you might have to get away with like just the, the, the two millimeter pin uh, jobbies, not the uh, shrouded ones. And, and <laughs> it's completely impractical. And of course, yes, you wouldn't have a stainless steel back on the thing, um, just from a safety viewpoint, you wouldn't have that. But I d like, and, and it's, of course, the whole concept of a multimeter watch is completely and utterly impractical because you wouldn't, uh, like, you know, carry around the probes with you. Like, if you're going to do that, you might as well get like a proper pocket multimeter. Like, why would you have it on the watch? But I do contend, though, that I would totally buy a watch that had a non-contact voltage tester in it. Leave it down in the comments down below. Do you agree? Would you buy a watch that looked, you know, like a fluke watch or something, you know, or some other, or a Bryman brand watch or something, you know, that, that actually, you know, uh, looked at, that came from your favorite multimeter manufacturer, whoever that happens to be. If they made a watch that had a non-contact voltage detection thing you know obviously like you would have to have like if i was going to do it you would have like internally you would have like the metal um sensor up the top like this you know usually they're like a little you know sensor about you know a centimeter long or something like that so i i actually have little doubt 
that you could build a practical uh, voltage detection stick into a watch. I think it could be done. I think it's possible. Should I try <laughs> to design a watch? I mean, it's not the first time. Um, I used to sell my micro calc, um, and my, sorry, my micro watch, um, a calculator watch uh, kit, for example. Is it, you know, it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure it would be possible. Leave it in the comments down below your thoughts on this, but I reckon you could build a non-contact voltage detection into a watch. Obviously, you wouldn't build a multimeter in. Uh, somebody pointed out on Twitter that there's a kick, there was a Kickstarter last year or something for a an oscilloscope watch, and obviously, like, just completely silly and impractical idea, right? But, um, like, so... I, but I, I would just buy it. Even if it didn't work, I would still buy that because it looks like a multimeter. Right, I would say I would totally buy it, and and maybe you could get like the. <laughs> it'd be great if maybe uh, you could get like an analog version, so it moved the hand, you know, like that. <laughs> move the second hand to point to the, you know, you'd have like a little mirror on there to you know uh, to reduce the parallax error, and you know, oh man. Uh, maybe, you know, if he if he ever watches this, maybe he can do like a render for like an analog version of this watch. Oh, that'd be <laughs> that'd be fantastic. But seriously, like, I would buy that. I would buy that, even if it was fake. Even if it was fake. Uh, l let me know, would you actually buy this watch? If it, like, even if it's got like flake branding and stuff, obviously, if you tried to do this, you know, Fluke might like sell this product. Fluke might actually um, sue you because it, like, even though it's not using the Fluke trademark or it's not, you know, it's kind of implying the Fluke, you know, it's it's implying the look and feel, you know. So I'm not sure about that from a <laughs> legal point of view. Although in China, you can buy the Fook multimeter, famously. It, it's a Fook multimeter. They actually sell it. Apparently you can buy it on AliExpress somewhere. The Fook multimeter should get one. <laughs> do a teardown of a Fook multimeter. I think, I'm pretty sure it's real and it actually exists because um, I've, I've seen various, um, I've seen it around over the years. So, but this is just, oh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Obviously you didn't have to go analog. Like if you're going to do this, you would go like full digital. Um, you wouldn't like the analogs and putting the analog stuff in here and having the multimeter stuff is hard and obviously you can't do current and obviously you're not going to be able to do like 10 amps because you're not going to get a like a decent replaceable 10 amp fuse inside this thing let alone the voltage you know the arc over and and all the safety um, stuff involved in this from a practical point of view I think if you did it as a digital watch if you did it as an analog you would certainly have to make it a hell of a lot thicker. Even if you did it as a digital, you'd have to make it a hell of a lot thicker. But it wouldn't look as good. Wouldn't look as good. But I just love the ring on there. Like, you know, and I love the like, like the little knurled, you know, attention to detail on the knurled stuff. And, and it's got on the knobs, on the buttons as well. It just, it just looks so good. It looks so good. It really does. <laughs> I would so buy that. Oh, oh, it's just pornographic. It really, is. and it's got a resin strap, and like I, I just love the color scheme as well. I would, I, I would rock that. I really would. I then that'd be my daily wearer if I had that. If you want to know what my daily wearer is at the moment, I've got a. Uh, it, here it is. It's a, whoop, Citizen Eco Drive. There it is. Let's go. Let's go full screen. This is my daily driver at the moment. I've gone on like an analog thing at the moment. You know, I, I generally am speaking a digital watch fanboy, but I've gone on an analog watch uh, uh, binge in recent times. So yeah, that's actually um, solar powered. So, but I, I, I love it because it's really thin, right? It's a really thin watch and I've got a pretty small wrist. So um, I, I did actually, this is not the stock band on it. Um, I, I, I actually got this uh, band uh, third party one, but I really like the, uh, look of the band on that so anyway that's uh yeah widget not connected yeah because yeah i oh yeah i've definitely got the i got the wrong camera mode up sorry <laughs> anyway the fake multimeter watch shut up and take my money really <laughs> let us know your thoughts down below because they're oh i just like and his other so yeah check it uh, hats off to alexander schmidt i think fluke should hire him Seriously, he does awesome, uh, you know, product renders. He's a 3D artist, and this is this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Real, I don't care that it's impractical, but I reckon, yep, 
let us know down below. I reckon a watch that, you know, uh, had a non-contact voltage tester, I think you could probably, a non-contact voltage tester, you could fit it in that sort of form factor, you know, with the analog thing. But, I, you know, once you get into the intricacies of watch uh, design, it's, it, you know, fit to envelope design is, is really difficult. Um because just the analog portions of these take up so much space and there's so much engineering uh, involved in, you know, making a good, actually being able to build and construct a practical watch like this. But I, I, don't know. I wonder if you just gave this to some, you know, uh, company and said, build me this. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> that freak. It's like, they'd, and they'd scratch their head for a week and come back and say, nah. <laughs> can't do it but it's oh man i so want it i so want it even if it was fake because you could do this as a fake watch you could totally build that exact I'm, I'm 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 pretty sure i'm pretty sure yep you could build that exact form factor watch you're whacking a cr um you know uh 1616 cell in it or something um 2032 of course if you don't know the numbers the cr the the 20 the first two digits is the diameter 20 millimeters uh and then the last two digits uh 32 that's actually 3.2 millimeters thickness so that's why a lot of watches will use like a 1616 16 battery because it's 16 millimeters by 1.6 millimeters um and yeah it's <laughs> it's great i would i I so want to rock that. It just looks so great. The industrial design. I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away. Absolutely blown away. I, I want a flake multimeter watch. <laughs> or fluke if you're watching, seriously. Like, have a, have a branded watch. Get into the, you know, get into the, well, it's not, mer you know, kind of. Get into the merch business. You know, like, because people are, oh, what's that, what's that red dot on the top? I didn't see that. Is that in the video? I didn't see the red dot. Go. Got to get in the music. No, the red dot. No, it's not doing anything. Maybe, maybe it's high voltage lead. Oh no, no, no. no. Oh, it's just a marker. It's just a right. It's just. I think it's just a. Uh, yeah, I think it's just a marker thing like to signify that the mode not that it's you know not obvious that <laughs> the mode is the one up the top you know but you know you've got to make it you got to make it obvious i guess um but oh, i so want one anyway let us know your thoughts comments down below please the flake 578 <laughs> true rms multimeter watch that gets two thumbs up and a big fonz hey. catch you next time